Hi guys, so this video is going to be about changing the, the subnet for the TP-Link of your wireless router. Okay, so what you need to do, uh, well first we want to generate the error we get. We go to the DCP settings and try to, to change the subnet, the start IP address and the end IP address instead of 100, which is not a default on the uh, wireless routers. Uh, we type 99, for example, it's just another subnet. Also, change the default gateway of the router. Usually by default, these devices come with uh, 192.168.1.0 and the 0, 0 subnet. Okay, so you try to save the configuration, uh, actually with the uh, change IP addresses, and it says that it won't take effect until you reboot the device. And then the error is generated, 26106, uh, which says the IP address is not in the same subnet with LAN IP address. What this error is trying to tell us is that the interface of this router does not have the IP address of the subnet we just uh, typed in the DHCP settings. What we need to do right now uh, in order to fix this error and stop receiving this error is go to the network under the LAN settings and change the IP address of the LAN interface of the wireless router. We have to choose the IP address of, the, of that same uh, uh, subnet. Uh, all we need to, actually we don't have to go to the DCP settings at all. The moment we change the IP address in the LAN uh, uh, interface, the DHCP settings will adjust by itself. Okay, we typed the, the IP address we wanted from the subnet we wanted, and the device right now is restarting itself. We'll have to wait a few minutes until the uh, restart process is finished. While the um, device is restarting, we might lose the connectivity to this IP address because, the, of course, we have to access the device on the new IP address. It's going to happen right now. Yeah. We don't have to do anything. We can just wait. We don't have to type the, uh, the new IP address since the, the router, the Routers, uh, the router actually redirected us to the to the new IP address while it was restarting itself. You can see that we also lost the connection, the wireless connection. You can see that by the by the icon we have down there. We will be waiting for a few more seconds. Okay, it's, it's going to happen right now. We are waiting. Okay, it's trying to identify itself in the network. Waiting. We see some trying. I would also like to let uh, you know that this is the second video I'm doing regarding this issue. This is authentication process. Uh, use whatever credentials you have for your wireless router. Okay, so the second video is made regarding this issue just because the, the uh, sound, I had some sound problems with the last recording. Okay, so when you go to the DHCP settings, all you see is that the start IP address and IP address uh, changed with the new settings. Okay. I would like to thank you very much for watching and also thank you for supporting me. Bye!